also Javante Tank Davis and Rolando Roley Romero had a final press conference um, before they, they head into their fight this Saturday night on Showtime. I'm going to tell you what I think about it, what I gathered from it. Um, as far as Tank Davis, what I got from him was he's extremely anxious to get in there with Roley. He was he was very irritated at the press conference. He was he was doing a good job of masking it, but you you could tell he was he was clearly irritated. Roley, on the other hand, man, at this point, it's safe to say he just saying anything he want. He just saying all kind of shit to kind of like uh, get Tank upset, like kind of get under his skin. Getting his head, that, that the shit he was saying at the press conference was, was, I mean, it was, it was, it was fantasy, but it was funny as shit. But he was saying the tank ain't skilled. He got more skills than tank, and he was making fun of tank's uh, pad work, and the tank just looking at him like, what, what? Like it was just, it was, it was funny, but then you could just see the frustration in tank's face, which could be a good or a bad. It could be the good thing for tank. Uh, it could be a good thing for Tank, or it could be a bad thing for Tank. It could be a good thing for Roly, or it could be a bad thing for Roly. You know, it depends on what Tank, uh, how he uh, transmits that in the ring. Uh, he claims he's not, he's not, he's not angry, but he clearly is upset. You know, but uh, that's the face down, the stare down. It was kind of like the same as the the second press conference they had, but Roley was more talkative in this one. The the the, the funny ass stare down he was giving Tank. Man, Roley's a certified nut, bro. Something wrong with that kid, man. <laughs> Something definitely wrong with him, man. He got all his screws, man. And like I said, this fight. It's multiple ways this thing can end. I mean, most of us, most people think, you know, Tank's going to get him out, going to knock him out. But uh, as weird as that might, I mean, as 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 realistic as that might sound, we don't know if if this, if, if Roley's weirdness in the ring could play out for, for the better. We, we don't know. As I said, man, I think this fight going to end. It could be multiple ways. Take my decision, take my first round KO, uh, take my eighth round KO, Roley by twelfth round KO, Roley uh, take my disqualification, Roley might do a lot of low blows. Who knows, man? Who knows what's gonna happen? So that's a good possibility to put that as a disqualification win for Take uh, or a decision for Take, but. I think it should be okay fight for as long as it lasts or if it does last. I don't, I mean, my initial prediction was for the fight to go the distance for Tank. But I'm not too sure about that no more, man. I might, I might have to change that again. I don't know. It might end up being a knockout. I said this fight, you might see Tank get dropped. I I, I don't know. I, I doubt it. But if, if Roley catches him with something he don't see, maybe, maybe that's a possibility. It's the first time for everything, y'all. But people say because uh, Roley don't have the skills, but that doesn't mean he can't drop Tank just because he don't have the skill set like Tank. I mean, obviously, he's not Tank, so he's not going to have the same skill set as Tank. I mean, it's common sense. We'll see what happens, but at the same time, Roley... I mean, I, his strategy, I guess, is to get into Tank's skin... I, I don't know if it's to sell a fight or if he really feels that way about Tank or if he's just putting up a front because he's really scared of Tank, but he don't want the world to know he's scared. You're hearing two different, you know, things from these dudes. You hear Tank claims he walked into the gym one time. He told Roley he ain't shit. He's a bum and Roley ain't say nothing. Roley claims uh, Tank ducked him and sparring twice. You know, Tank never denied it. I, I don't recall him ever denying it. Neither did Roley deny what Tank said. So I, I I don't know. But it's pretty clear that they really don't like each other. So Roley says he's been asking for this fight for four years. You know, finally the fight is here. And 
we will see what happens what will happen Saturday night, man. But yeah. Let me know what you thought about the final press conference between uh Javante Tank Davis and Rolando Roley Romero. Drop a comment. Let me know how you feel about it. This is your boy Rebel Life Boxing. I'll catch y'all later and I'm out. Peace.